mean, the reality is at university, the leaders of our culture are being developed, both for good and for bad. And if these people can uh, grow to have Christ at the center of their lives, they can have a tremendous impact. But one of the dangers is they can get swallowed up into that world. It's, it's a massive shift from the campus world. And so we have people working with business people, with professionals, trying to help them to make those adjustments so they can thrive in that world. With our grads from the campus ministry, we were finding that they were moving into the business world and now trying to adjust their faith or see how their faith fit in that world with a lot more issues. You had guys and girls now facing marriage, uh, kids, there were business issues, all kinds of things. It was just far more complex than the campus world. And they were still looking for help to find their way through that world with God as the center of their lives. Professionals today, I think, suffer from relational anorexia. Uh, they're wary people. That's how they have gotten to the top of the corporate food chain. But that very set of suspicions can tend to filter out a lot of other relationships, relationships that could have been helpful and redemptive. And so when they find themselves at the uh, top of the success ladder, they look around and it's a fairly lonely life. Yeah, one of the things about the navigators is they come alongside and give you personal one-to-one -one practical help in your spiritual growth. You know, it says in Deuteronomy 17 that a king is supposed to immerse himself in the Bible so that he rules well. Well, who are the kings? Kings are simply influential people, people who lead others. Business people are like that. And so they have a great opportunity to have an influence on others in a positive way. In Kingdom of God terms, it's much tougher to be wealthy than it is to be poor. Wealth deceives us into thinking that because we have wealth and influence, we somehow have it all together in life and we can stop searching, we can stop listening to that inner ache. Our role in BNP ministry is first to walk alongside and learn to be a friend to be accessible to people so that they can uh, see whether the claims I'm making about Jesus are actually uh, true in my life. A navigator lives and dies by 2 Timothy 2.2. Paul says, and the things that you've heard from me in the presence of many witnesses, entrust this to others who will train others also. And so I am constantly uh, seeking to be in the scriptures, to learn it, to live it, to pass it on, and find others that are interested in helping reach the world. So much of what navigators do is life on life. People uh, pour out their lives and love us and, and invest in us, and we really do become like the people that are helping us to, to learn to walk with God and learn to have a ministry. God wants people to exercise their gifts and do well so they can in turn help others. My work with the Navigators helps people live life in tune with God in business, in their marriages, in their families, in their personal lives and so on.